Bless squad, what's going on with y'all, man? It's your boy, Blessed Apple. So I say to bless y'all with another video here on Blessed to Invest. And today I want to talk about the difference between fundamental investing and technical investing and which one you should go with. If you're trying to like, oh, which one's better? Which one should I do? Which one works best for me? You're going to figure that out through this video. So make sure you hit a like on this video and let's get into it. So uh, there's two type of investing. There's the fundamental investing where this is more of the warm Buffett style investing. Uh, if you hear a lot of his strategies, this is where you're going to hear a lot of the fundamental terms. And then you have the technical investing, the George Soros is uh, the Paul Tudor Jones of the world that trade technically. Both these trading strategies work. They're both very effective, but they both have positive and negative strengths and weaknesses between them both. So what are they? Fundamental investing is when you look at a overall company. You're looking at the balance sheet, how much revenue the company is bringing in. You're looking at the story of the company. You're looking at the CEO. Uh, for example, let's take McDonald's, for example, multi-billion dollar company. You're going to look at the CEO of McDonald's, where they're trying to take the company in the next five, 10 years. You're going to look at how much cash is coming in. You're going to look at the product. Is the product selling well? Is the product have a long term uh, performance on it is the money they're making worth the debt they're taking on the investment they're taking on. That's going to be fundamental investing. You're going to be looking at the earnings. You're going to be looking at basically a lot of math numbers, uh, cash, how much cash is coming in and how the CEO is managing or planning to manage the business. That's what goes into fundamental investing. When you think of a fundamental investor, you have to think of it more of a you're buying a particular business. You're not buying just a couple of shares. You're buying into the business. You're investing into the business and you're trying to figure out, is this a good business for me to buy? And that's how you do fundamental investing. So if you look at uh, Warren Buffett, he always talks about, I want to get a good deal on my businesses because I want to buy these businesses and hold them forever. And that's the mindset of a fundamental investor. They're looking at more of the long term aspect of a business. They're not looking at the, oh, the next two months. They want to be looking at the next five, 10 years uh, to see how the business is performing. The opposite of that is going to be fundamental uh, technical investing. This one is going to be a little bit more short term because this deals on basic fluctuations, how the price is moving, how buyers and sellers are reacting to um, the particular stock. So let's say we're looking at the same stock. Let's look at McDonald's. In a technical form, we're going to look at the pricing of it. So let's say technically the price is between, let's say $150 and $100. And we see that it consistently bounces between $100 and $150. Pattern wise, we can recognize that from a technical standpoint and say, okay, around $100, this is going to be a good buy. You can also see uh, that in a technical term, you can see buyers aggressively come in at $100. You can see different patterns that occur, double tops, double bottoms. And this is going to be more of a shorter term type of trade because you're looking at just overall patterns, the history of how price is moving and how buyers and sellers are reacting to it. This is going to be a lot better if you're doing it uh, short term because a lot of times buyers can be uh overly aggressive, overly buy. Sometimes sellers can overly sell and you realize and recognize that and say, okay, I want to buy here because I see an immediate discount on this just based on the price action and how it's fluctuating. For example, uh, during the pandemic, everybody was screaming, pulling their hair out, stressed out because everybody believed the companies uh, in the stock market were going to trash. They were, they thought they were garbage. They thought the world was ending. But even though, let's say the underlying business on a fundamental aspect, even though McDonald's may be doing a lot better, it did a lot better during the pandemic. Fast food was doing really well, even though it was doing very well. Fundamentally, the business was still sound. The CEO was still doing their thing. The cash still looked good. They didn't have a lot of debt, et cetera. Even though it looked good on a fundamental aspect, the technical aspect, the price of it was fluctuating based on how buyers were thinking, how buyers were perceiving uh, the world to be, and they stressed out 
everybody was hitting the sell button and aggressively sold off. So that would be a technical standpoint, looking at the price and basing your trade based on how the price is reacting. So you want to look at both. That'd be the ideal scenario. You want to look at both to decide, OK, technically, is this oversold? Is this a good buy based on the history of it? And then a fundamental side, you want to say, OK, is this a good business that I'm buying? Is this does this have a lot of cash on hand? Is the CEO doing a very good job? And really, you can marry both of them. Of course, technical is going to be a shorter standpoint and fundamental is going to be a more longer term standpoint to see your payout. But they both work if you're able to marry the two and work together and use them both. You can become a very great trader where you're able to pick bear. You're able to pick bottoms looking at a technical aspect and then also able to pick great stocks, great companies because you're looking at the fundamentals. So it's going to be a win win. Definitely check it out. Um, I definitely recommend day trading on day trading. You want to just do technical. It doesn't even matter. Day trading. You don't really care what's going on fundamentally. Swing trading. You want to kind of do a little bit of both. And then long term, you want to go heavy on the, the fundamental side. So let me know down in the comments which one works best for you. Um, are you more of a fundamental trader? Are you more of a technical trader or do you like to marry both of them to get the best deal for your stock that you like to buy? And let's shop it up in the comments and we'll see which one wins, the technical or fundamental. That's going to wrap it up. It's me, your boy. Bless up, so I'll stay blessed. And we'll see you next time. I'm blessed to my best. Just to see tomorrow is a blessing. Stay prayed up is the message. Everything about a nigga blessed. Everything about a nigga blessed.